Hey, so have you guys been following the story about the kidnapped girls who are now set yeah. free from the house? And this story just keeps getting more interesting, more details mm -hmm. emerging. But I'll tell you something, you know, it, it, like you were saying earlier this morning, you watch the coverage and you, you're so sad mm -hmm. for these girls, for what they've endured. You know, the, the one girl losing mm -hmm. her mother, mm -hmm. her mother died before Never she ever got to see her, rescued. her rescued. And then you have this man who... <laughs> <laughs> has absolutely, he, he just brings a little levity to the whole situation, and that is, um, gosh, and I can't remember Charles, his name. Charles yes, Alexander, right Charles, I don't know, but he is oh, Ramsey. Ramsey. Charles yeah. Ramsey. Charles Ramsey, is that his name? He is um, the, the gentleman who found the girl, found Amanda, and um, rescued her from the house, but he was on Good Morning America this morning, and I'll tell you what, like his first interview yeah. from all the news outlets talking about how he found right. him. He's eating McDonald's. His and... interview this morning, Scott and I were watching, and cracking up and it's so interesting because you have this story that is kind of heartbreaking and it's, it's and very parts, serious parts of it are heartwarming yeah. you know mm -hmm. when you see the pictures of the reuniting yeah. with family and then this man comes on and just breaks the ice right up he yeah. is it's just like writers so funny. couldn't write a better monologue or script for him like it's they couldn't so write better answers for this man to characterize in an inner like yeah. He's like a character no, in is. and of himself. And what I love about it is that he really isn't a character. Like no, that's he's really not faking how he it. Is. Because like he had no idea, you know, the night before that yesterday morning his life was gonna be completely changed. Yeah. And it was all because he was helping somebody. He needs a he reality wasn't trying, show. But he wasn't trying to get attention. <laughs> does, oh, trust really. me, I bet you he's getting calls. <laughs> but he wasn't trying to get attention. And he wasn't doing it because he wanted, you know, you know, people to talk about him. But he really did it to help somebody. Yeah. And the thing about this story is that there were a lot of people they're finding that saw things happening over the years and did not complain about it, did not go to authorities. Which really begs the question. I mean, if you see something questionable yes. from a neighbor, Yes. You know, what do you do? Do you, well, you, should, and you do know, you it's like that you... television show, what's that show called, What Would You Do, where they set up those mm -hmm. situations I think and it's on ABC. to see how people in public, like in a restaurant or in a bus stop, how they react to someone getting treated mm -hmm. poorly or an argument. I think it's very interesting to see what our what our human nature, if people are willing to step forward and help or if they're like, eh, uh, didn't see it, brush it under the rug. Yeah. And some people do walk away. And yeah. then there's some that you'll see step up, which is kind of neat to see them step up. And they're just like, oh, gosh, y'all got me but it tells you the hearts and minds of, of people today mm -hmm. but they're telling people if you see stuff call 911 it's better to be safe than sorry right don't be scared about getting involved I think for so many years we were taught stay out of people's business don't get involved they don't you know we don't want trouble well, and especially because you don't you know if you're if you're um, a, a neighbor to something like that you don't want to be implicated in any way you know you don't you don't want to be called into court to testify nobody wants to give a well, time don't like that risk and I think, a lot of people don't want to risk their own safety as well right. well honey let me tell you think about that if that was your child right and I think it would give you a different perspective right probably true